Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So now guys, we are going to start complete video tutorial series for Fusion. So this is first class of Fusion. So in this today's class, we are going to see Fusion user interface and how to import media inside Fusion. So now we are inside Fusion here. So mainly Fusion interface is divided into three area. First area, this is our viewer area. Then second area, this is inspector area or you can see our properties panels here. And downside, this is our node graph or flow area here on top of this viewer we will get this effect panels or effect bin so if you will click on this panel so you will get all these available nodes inside fusion here so you can see so all these nodes just we will use for composting inside fusion next this is node panel so downside you can see so if you will click on this panel so this will hide this node panel from this interface here so again just we have to click on this nodes here same as you can also click on this effect so this will hide this panel from this user interface so you can see this one same as this is console panel so if you will get any error so this will display in this console panel then right side this is actually main inspector window or inspector panels so inside this we will get all node properties whatever node you will select inside fusion here but there is actually no node inside fusion so it's not showing any parameter inside this inspected area like this we have another panels like spline keyframe so all these panels and windows we will explain in details in this class here and uh, downside this is our node graph or node area here so inside this we will do our all composting inside fusion and this is fusion timelines here so below this viewer you will get this fusion timelines and below this timeline we will also get some important nodes here so these are our actually main node uh, which we will use for composting here uh, fusion has placed all these nodes on top of this node graph here okay so now next just i am also going to uh, explain suppose if you are using davinci resolve so how we can actually work with fusion so just next just i am going to explain so suppose now you are inside over this davinci resolve and just you have selected this media inside this davinci resolve and downside if you will click on this fusion so you will get interface like this here some more extra uh, panels and window you will also get like this media pool so you will get if you are using the Vinci resolve so you will also get this window here or panels here and downside in this node graph area we will get mainly two nodes first this is media in and this is media out and remaining node just we will attach in between both nodes here okay so if you are using the venture resolve then you can also work with fusion then after finish your composting again if you will click on this uh, edit so this will uh, update actually whatever you will do inside fusion so this will update inside the venture resolve here okay so both are same things but uh, it's actually totally depends on you so now again we are inside fusion so in this series we will use only this fusion and we will explain all these things inside fusion so now after the just i am going to show you here how we can import media inside fusion so mainly actually there are multiple methods you can import any media inside fusion first just simply we have to take this loader node here so with the help of loader node we can import any media inside fusion so just simply just we can click here so this will open this browser window then you can select your folder where you have placed your media now just cancel this one so when you will cancel this one so this will automatically just create a loader node inside this nodes window or node graph window here so simply just you can select and delete then next thing simply just you can select this loader node and just you can drag and drop into this nodes area here or node graph area here and you can select and just drag and drop here to same window this will open so any method just you can use so now first we have to select your folder where you have placed your media or footage so this we see then just search, simply select your folder so this is our actual main folder inside there just i placed our all these media here so now just we can select first so first just i am going to select this media or image here so remember this one this is a jpg files here or just a still image here and right side you can see this preview so suppose if you are uh, not seeing this preview here then simply you can check this window here so if you have not checked this one so this will not 
show you any preview here okay so just simply you can select then you see you can check this window so easily just we can see the preview okay like this you can see now just first i'm going to import our uh, this image so simply i have selected this one now simply we have to click on open so now first image or first footage just i have imported inside fusion here with the help of this loader node here now after this we have to view this image or node inside this viewer here so for this actually mainly inside this fusion we will get two viewer first viewer this is actually left viewer or left view we can say and second viewer this is right viewer or you can say right view here so if you want to view this image in left side then simply first option you can select and you can drag and drop into this first view here so simply just you can select and just you can drag and drop here so this will view this image into this first viewer then second option simply just you can select node whatever node you want to display inside this viewer here then simply you can press one or two so now just first uh, actually just i am going to import another images so again just we have to click on loader and just select second one here so maybe this one here now just simply we have to click on open so now downside if you will see actually i have uh, imported this second image this one here so this has also just created a merge node this is due to uh, because you have selected uh, this node so that's why this will automatically just create a merge node so now just we have to delete this merge node simply just you can delete so simply first deselect any node inside this node graph so now i have deselected all these nodes here then if you will click on this uh, again load a node and just you can select any media now again click on open so this will simply import media and this will not create any merge node now just we have to view this image uh, second image on over this right side viewer so first if you will press one so this will view this selected node or this media into over this first viewer or left side viewer and if you will press two so this will display in this second viewer here so simply i have selected this media and press two so now this will display into the second viewer or right side viewer same age if you want to view this image in left viewer also then you can select this media inside this node graph or you can select any node whatever node you want to view inside this viewer so simply you can select then after this you can press one or two so now if you will press one so this will show you into this left side and if you will press two so this will show you into this right view now suppose if you want to switch this dual viewer into a single viewer then simply you can use this option here so simply you can see this single and dual viewer option so if you will click on this one so this will switch this dual viewer or two views into the single view here so you can see now this two view here so now if you will press one only so this will again display any media inside this viewer here so simply just we have to select node and just we have to press one so like this as you can view any media inside your viewer here next suppose again if you want to switch this single viewer into two views or into this dual viewer here then simply you can click on this two view here so now again i have two views then you can select second one and you can press two like this so like this you can use single or dual viewer this it actually totally depends on your requirements here now again just we have to click on this single viewer here so next thing just i am going to explain this uh, viewer navigations here so simply if you will hold control and middle mouse button and scroll so this will zoom in zoom out this viewer then if you want to pan this viewer then simply you have to hold middle mouse button and just simply you can pan now suppose if you have moved this one here and you don't know where viewer then simply you can press control f control f means this will fit this viewer inside this area here so next thing same as downside hold control button and middle mouse button scroll then you can also zoom in zoom out this node graph area and hold middle mouse button then simply we can pan now suppose if you have pan this node graph downside a little bit here so we will get uh, this actually navigator here so simply if you are not getting any node inside this node graph then again we can click on this navigator so this will show you here all node inside this node graph here now next thing if you want to adjust this area here then simply from the divider line just you can 
adjust this one here like this even this one also so according to require all this area just you can adjust so next just i am going to show you here how we can import any video or image sequence inside fusion so same you can use this uh, loader node here so simply you can click so now inside this folder this is image sequence okay so you can see this number which is start from 0 to 152 frames so this is actually uh, just showing uh, this image sequence because downside if you will see this gather options here so if this is not checked so this will show you here all these individuals image inside this image sequence here so if you have any image sequence then simply first you have to check this gather sequence option then just you can select then downside we have to click on open so now first image sequence just type imported here then next suppose if you want you can direct drag and drop any footage from your browser window inside this node graph area here so just type open this browser window so again just we have to click on this footage then in select your folder and now suppose i have this uh, image sequence which is sort on this one is sort 3 so this is a image sequence same so simply just you can select any images inside this folder and just you can drag and drop here like this you can also import any image sequence then after this just we have to view all these two image sequence into over this viewer here this is fusion timeline here which is start from 0 to 1000 frames so by default fusion timeline duration is 1000 frames now just we have to view over this first image sequence here so simply just we can view inside this viewer so just you can drag and drop or just you can select and press one or two so if you want you can also press two actually this is not showing here because maybe uh, you have placed your playhead after this frame 100 but this media or this image sequence has only just maybe frame 99 or 94 whatever frame okay so this one also you have to check if you are actually preview any image sequence or media here so first always just place your play at starting of your timelines here so simply just you can click on this starting frame here so now you can see your media now again we have to press ctrl f same age if you want to view this second image sequence or video here then you can select this one and again press one so now you can see second one here so in this timeline if you will see uh, this one actually this two just area here this two lines here which is this yellow lines here so these are our actually work area range here and this is entire timeline duration here which is uh, till 1000 frames here so if you will view first one here now just simply drag and draw so this will actually automatically just adjust this work area so you can see this till frame 100 and if you will use this one so now this will automatically adjust according to this image so now just we have to play and check first one here so simply select this one press 1 now press ctrl f and just click on this starting frame here then we have to play this one so we can play forward or backward then stop now play forward now this loop has checked so that's why again and again it's playing this one here so if you will uncheck this one so this will not play then again and again you have to click on this forward play or just frame by frame you can also play frame by frame you can also play backward then stop then frame by frame you can play and you can also go to this last frame here okay so like this just you can use this players here so always check this uh, loop here so this will again loop this media here so now next thing suppose if you want to switch this timeline according to this image duration so maybe suppose if this media has only 100 frames so if you want to make this timeline till 100 frames so simply just you can select your image sequence and hold shift and just drag and drop into this timeline this image sequence here so hold shift then select and just drag and drop into this timeline so this will automatically just adjust this entire timeline according to this media duration here so now if you will see here below this timeline you will get some these numbers here so this is your actually starting frame of your timeline this is end frame and this is work area range 
means suppose if you want to play this media only from 20 to 100 frame then you can type here maybe just type 20 now the type here 100 so now if you will play so this will play only from frame 20 to till frame 100 so like this you can also define your work area even if you will hold control then direct just you can define your work area here so from anywhere just you can click so this will start your work area so now simply hold control and just simply drag like this then you can play now you can see then after this suppose if you want to clear this work area then right click on this work area here you will get this auto render range so this will clear this work area here so now guys same as just i'm going to import another video or image sequence inside fusion here so again press window e and just select your folder so in so this is actually just a video mov or mpg file so you can see this mpg4 files here then simply you can select and drag and drop inside the node graph area here then this is our another image sequence so for image sequence if you want you can open this folder and just select any image inside this folder and just drag and drop inside this node graph area here or if you want you can direct select this folder and just drag and drop into this fusion here so this will import this image sequence here now first just i am going to view over this first video inside fusion so again first select this one press one now hold shift and just drag and drop into this timeline so this will just create this timeline according to this video or image sequence so again hold shift and just drag and drop here now simply just we can play and check so you can play and check so now we can see here this one here now same as just uh, i am going to view over this second image sequence here so now if you will see here this is timeline till frame 112 frames here now if you will select this one hold shift and drag and drop into this timeline now select this one again press one so this is another image sequence so now if you will see here actually we are getting this little bit timeline magnifications here so just we have to self pick this one and just we have to adjust this one here then only we will get all frame in this timelines here now after this we have to clear this uh, work area before playing this image sequence so again just right click in this timeline then click on auto render now we can play this another image sequence so like this as you can import any image sequence video or any image inside fusion so guys till here i have completed over this class in next class we will see basic composting inside fusion and also we will see animation inside fusion and we will explain all these splines and keyframe panel inside fusion so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching